Hi family, I am making this video um, in response to some of the comments I've been receiving about my second series of On the Couch Seal Your Lockers. I've had a chance to read through some of the comments and see some of the response videos, particularly um, Coyote and Light. Um, she made a response video and also Naps For You. And um, it wasn't apparent that um, perhaps my message was lost um, because I wanted to try to keep that video short. I didn't want to, you know, talk too much. And in the process, I probably didn't do a good job of t making sure that I um, delineated who I was, you know, talking about in the video. Um, this video is not for entertainment. This is just to clear up any misunderstandings. So no cursing will be, you know, happening in this video. And um, let me just say a little thing about that too, because I've also received some comments, you know, about that. I'm going to elaborate in another video, but that is my personality. You know, I'm going to introduce you to her. Her name is Nzinga. <laughs> that is my personality. A lot of people won't like my personality. Um, I remember a while ago I told my subscribers that I will be changing the direction of my channel. I wanted to connect more with my subscribers and I wanted them to get to know me better. And in the process of getting to know me, I want to be able to be myself on camera. And that means that you know, I don't expect everybody to like the change. And it's not really a change. This is just who I am. And a lot of people just won't get with it. I totally understand that. So if that means that I will be losing some subscribers and friends, you know, I, I have to respect their decision. But this is me. And this is who I am. So if you don't like it, I would rather you, you know, do what you have to do than, you know, send me these comments because this is not, you know, I'm not changing. This is the way my channel will be from now on. So if you don't like that, you can do what you have to do. No hurt feelings or anything. No animosity. You know, I totally respect that. But um, back to the issue at hand. I wanted to make sure that you all understood who it was that I was speaking about. I feel like people got offended that shouldn't have gotten offended because I wasn't talking to you. And if you got offended, maybe you felt some kind of way about it. Maybe perhaps I was talking to you and, you know, who knows? I, you know, I just need to say this. The video was not to target new lockers. I repeat, I am not speaking about people who are just beginning their lock journey. Um, I think you all took some of the things I said out of context. And like I said, I take responsibility too because I didn't do a good job of, you know, cleaning it up for you all and letting you know that, you know, I'm not talking about people who are genuinely seeking information. Um, I don't bash anybody. I don't belittle or put down anybody that send me inbox messages about their hair. I am only talking about those individuals for whatever reason that have been blocking for at least three years more or plus or have had at least two or three journeys within two years. I, I just think that's problematic only because those individuals is not even about what, you know, it's not even about their hair, it's their expectations. And they also refuse to learn their hair. I wanted to make sure I stressed in my last video that it is those individuals who, for whatever reason, won't learn their hair. They won't learn how their scalp interacts with certain agents. And they run into these problems as they're locking or maybe not even real problems. They just run into the regular changes that locks go through. And instead of being patient enough with themselves and with their hair to, you know, work it out, they cut it off, they comb it out, and they start over. And then they come back on YouTube or Facebook asking the same questions that we help you all with. That is the insanity part that I'm getting at. Um, I'm sorry to say, but I feel like some people are way too sensitive on Facebook. I'm not, I'm sorry, Facebook, yeah, Facebook too, but YouTube, um, I'm not used to that. Um, if you knew my personality, which I'm trying to portray now on Facebook so you all can get to know me, I talk out of my neck. And what I mean by that is I make fun or make light of situations to make it more humorous. But at the same time, there is a message there. A lot of people get caught up in the humor, which, which in the humor is not the, the I'm not, I'm not um, PG. I, I can tell you that much. My humor is brash and a certain type of individual will be able to see that and laugh. 
a lot of people got upset, you know, and I don't think that was called for because I wasn't targeting anyone in particular. You know, all I was saying is, you know, we see this. All I'm doing is speaking the truth. There are a lot of people who've noticed it too. All I did was make a video about it and made it, you know, obnoxiously funny for some people. That's all I did. Um, I'm not targeting new lockers and I'm not trying to dissuade new lockers from locking their hair. Um, there is a difference between, you know, trying to learn your hair in the beginning and learning all this information because yes, we have an abundance of information out there more than there was, you know, five years ago. And sometimes that can actually be, you know, a bad thing because it kind of can overwhelm someone who has, you know, no idea and know which way to go with this information. So what I always suggest people to do is first start with your hair. Learn the texture. Learn what products really work for your hair. That's the only way you will be able to, you know, have a successful lock journey without having a lot of troubles. Also, your expectations need to be in check. There's nothing wrong with saying that. You know, if you are locking your hair and, you know, and you're trying to achieve a certain look, you probably will be let down. And another thing, I understand that people have transitions in their lives. People cut their locks for different reasons. They may cut it for religious reasons. Someone might have died. Um, maybe they, you know, they had a baby and, you know, they would like to grow their hair to, you know, signify that. Um, I know a friend, he cut his hair after his wife, you know, passed away. And I know another friend that, you know, will start locking, relocking his hair once his child becomes of age, um, about, I think, five or six. He will start locking his hair and lock his child hair so they can, you know, have locks and grow them together. So please understand, I'm not talking about those individuals. Those are not serial lockers. And for you all to take my definition and to apply it to those people, you know, is, 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 is not that's not right. And now I can understand why there's so much, you know, um, so many comments, you know, to the, to the, to the, um, to that effect when really I wasn't talking to them or about them at all. They were completely not in this video. So some, um, so like I said, um, I don't mean to offend anybody. I am an obnoxious, I'm very obnoxious, you guys. I'm very goofy, silly, obnoxious. And I have a potty mouth. And I try to make light of situations by, you know, you know, giving it the way I give it. And um, it's not about, you know, because someone even said, oh, you're trying to keep it real, but this is not real. Oh, okay. This is my personality. This is the real. If you don't like my personality, then I, I can respect that. You don't have to watch my videos, you know? So, like I said, I'm never trying to put anybody down. I'm not trying to um, belittle or bemean anyone. I'm not trying to kick anybody out the lot community. All I'm doing is stating what's already there. You know, we see these individuals all the time in different groups, and we see them on YouTube, and they will message you about certain questions, and you can help them from a good six months. They, you know, decide to change their hair, and then they come back, and, you know, they ask the same questions, and you help them, and then they decide to change their hair again, and then you still help them. Like, because I would never deny anybody. I'm not going to sit there. Uh, you all are making it seem like I will respond to these people in a negative fashion. That is not... Jasmine. That's not how I get down. I don't just blast someone for asking a question. My only concern is when you're not really receiving the advice that you're getting and for whatever reason you're just not committed to learning your hair. It's really something else going on in your life that's causing you to not, you know, fulfill, I guess, your lock journey. And you really need to evaluate whether or not locks are for you. That's why I said maybe locks are not, you know, for them. It could perhaps may not be. Just because, you know, someone starts their hair over and over and over again, you know, doesn't mean that, you know, they, they shouldn't lock their hair. I agree. But at the same time, at a certain point, you got to figure out, is it really worth it? Time, energy, and money. Is it really worth it to keep starting over and with the same expectations 
nothing changed, doing the same things, nothing changed, and you still are dissatisfied. That is what I'm getting at. So please understand, everybody, I am not targeting new lockers. I'm not talking about second or third round lockers who, you know, cut their hair for other reasons, you know, because you don't have to justify anything to me. It's none of my business. But I'm only talking about those individuals who clearly have no business locking their hair because they have not taken the time to prepare. So that's all I wanted to say. Um, if I offended anybody, I apologize. But um, or I shouldn't say but because that's not an apology. I would just say this. My videos from here on out, it will be full of entertainment, animation, and a little curse word here or there. You know, if you don't like it, you know, you can do what you have to do. I don't expect everybody to like what I have to say. So I'll just leave it at that. And I hope you all have a great Father's Day weekend and, you know, have a ball. Um, but I hope this video cleared everything up. Um, yeah, that's all I have to say.